Hi there. Today I'm installing the Tannis tire armors in the Rad Expand. And all you need to do to do this is a little bit of magic. But hey Chris, magic is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. I know. But what about movie magic? All kidding aside, I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's go. So I always put my bike in the stand when I'm doing these kinds of repairs. This here is the Park Tool PCS 9.3. There'll be a link in the description below. So the tools you're gonna need for this are some tire levers, this 18 millimeter that actually comes with it, this four millimeter Allen wrench that also comes with the rad, this little zip tie. I think this was included. If not, you'll need a zip tie and then something to cut the existing zip tie. Now over here on the left side of the bike what the kickstand is just above it a little ways, there's a zip tie there. Just gonna need to cut that off, get rid of that. And then uh, go ahead and unplug the motor from this plug right here. So that's unplugged. And then we can take out this little four millimeter Allen bolt with the included four millimeter wrench. Now over here on the other side of the bike, there's two four millimeter bolts and these both have to come out using the same four millimeter Allen wrench. Now at this point too, it's good to notice like where your chain is on your freewheel. If it's not in the very smallest gear, go ahead and shift it down to that smallest gear. This is gonna make getting your wheel in and out a whole lot better. Now we're gonna grab our 18 millimeter open-ended wrench and we're gonna loosen up this rear axle nut. And I'm gonna do the same with the axle nut on the other side over here and drop the wheel out. So this other axle nut that's on the other side over there is actually on so darn tight that I'm gonna have to grab a bigger wrench to get some leverage on it. So it actually comes off pretty good with a bigger wrench, but that little, little included wrench wasn't big enough. Then just kind of shake it a little, holding the wheel nice and tight, and then grab your derailleur and just slip the wheel out. And then we have our wheel out. Ta-da! And then now once you have the wheel out, just undo the cap on the valve and let all the air out. And you can just do that with that same little four millimeter wrench that you had, just kind of stick it in there and you can let all the air out. Now you don't have to go until the, all the air is completely out, but just till this thing's pretty loose on here. Then just going away from the valve, grab one of your tire levers and just pop the bead out. And these tires sit so loose, it's pretty easy just to kind of go around and get that tire out. Now you want to find the valve that's right here and just kind of push that in and snag the tube out. And you don't have to take the tire completely off to do this. Just take this tube and set it aside for now. And then we're going to grab one of our Tannis armors. All right and just kind of shove it on in there. And then once you got it kind of part way like this, you want to push in the inner side all the way around. So you just have the inside pushed in. So now I just have that inside one that's pushed in. Then we want to grab our tube again and find where the, the hole in the rim is. So you can line up the valve with the hole in the rim. And then we wanna shove the tube in right about there. This is a good time to let a little more air out of the tube if it still has too much air in it. So we're shoving the tube in. And 
and you can kind of shove most of it in there to help. Now, the trick is, is we want to line up the valve with the hole in the rim and then feed that through. This is always the part that's a little tricky is you need that valve to come out of that hole like that. So you can see the valves out of the hole. And then once that's in there, go ahead and shove the rest of the tube in the rest of the way. And you really gotta kinda push on it. And just keep going around and the tube will kind of slot in there. And you want to do this while you're trying to keep, keep the valve, the stem here, pretty straight. You don't want it like pointing way off to the side. And if there's still a lot of air in it, you can let most of the air completely out at this stage. And so now once we have that and the tube's mostly in, I kind of rotate it. And this is a good time where you can shift it so that the valve here is coming out nice and straight. And then starting at the valve, go ahead and push just the Tannis armor in and kind of work it around till it's about halfway. And then you can shove it in the rest of the way. And you're basically just tucking that Tannis armor in and it'll catch on the, the rim bead on the other side. Till now you have all the Tannis in. And then again, starting up here where the valve is, now we wanna push the actual tire in doing basically the same thing. And you kind of may have to push a little bit with the tire with your palms till you get the tire around most of the way. And it helps to kind of squeeze on it a bit because you really want that, that bead sort of deep down in there in order to get this final side here. And then just keep pushing and working it around. And I kind of find if I use my palm here, that helps push in this final part. So now you have the bead in all the way around. And then at this stage, it's pretty easy to go ahead and put this on the ground and, and fill the tire back up with your air pump. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm just gonna put the pump on it and reinflate it. And then I'll show you how to put it back on the bike. So here's part of the trick of putting this back on the bike is you wanna make sure that this little safety washer, whatever they call it, is on the outside next to the nut. And this other little spacer here is on the inside. And then on this side here, we wanna make sure that this little axle washer is over here next to the axle nut. And then this little slotted spacer is on the inside. So each nut should have their own little spacer next to it with these little slotted spacers on the inside. And the way you put it back on, the easiest way, is to kind of align this guy right here, the safety washer, so that this hole is gonna ma match up with the hole that's on the frame. And then it'll go in correctly. And I'll show you that right now. So uh, back over here on the left side of the bike, what I'm doing is I want to orient this washer 
so that it's going to point towards this hole right here where it bolts back in. Then the wheel will go in nice and straight. So just kind of get it started. And then over here on this side, what I'm doing is we just want to get this in through the chain. And then we're lining this right back onto this smallest gear over here. So you want the chain going right back onto the smallest gear. So get that started. And I kind of prop it up with my leg down here. And then on this side, I'm aligning that spacer so it's pointing back upward. And then we want to slot the disc brake rotor so that it's going right back in between the pads over here. If you can see my finger over here. So this is the trickiest part of doing all this is getting this wheel back in. But once it looks like you got it going, you can tighten these axle nuts down a little bit. Just to kind of wedge them in there. Now you don't want to tighten these all the way at this stage. I just got it kind of half loose and I'm holding the wheel up in here real tight. And then we want to grab our little four millimeter bolt and that's going to go back in on this side. So back on this side, uh, I've aligned this little safety washer. So it lines back up with that hole, get this four millimeter Allen bolt back in there. And you can sometimes get it started with your fingers like this. And then you just want to grab your four millimeter Allen wrench and go ahead and tighten this guy down nice and tight. And once that's in there tight, you can actually let go of the wheel at this point. And then now just push up the wheel again. So it's all the way firmly in there. And then you can go ahead and tighten these axle nuts down nice and tight. Uh, then once you have both the axle nuts nice and tight, you're probably still going to need to readjust the brake again because every time you take the wheel in and out, you need to readjust this brake. It's kind of frustrating, but I'll do another video on how to adjust these brakes. But at this stage, you can hook the motor back up. If you can see on here, these little plugs have a little arrow and then there's another little arrow on this one right there. So you want to line up the two arrows to plug these back in together and then make sure that that's just plugged in nice and tight again. And then at this point too, you can take your zip tie and then you can trim that back down. And now back over here on the drive side, we want to grab this little protective cage for the derailleur. And we're going to slip that back in. And first we just want to bolt in the top one and you can just do the top one kind of finger tight because this bottom one. Now we're going to line up with the rear fender stay. And so we're bolting through the fender mount here this, and then through this little cage into these two holes that are right here. That's how we put that back on. And then just go ahead and tighten those. They're both four millimeter Allen bolts. So you can tighten those back down and get those nice and snug. And then now we have the Tana Sarner in the back one. And then, so now I'll just quickly show you how to remove and reinstall the front wheel because installing the Tannis is going to be exactly the same as the back wheel. So on this one, it has a quick release, which has this little cam lever. Just go ahead and open that back up. And then what I'm doing is I'm holding the nut on this side right here and I'm just going to unscrew this side a little bit, not all the way out, but just enough because on, on these forks, there's this little indentation, kind of a safety little catch on both sides. So you actually have to loosen this just a little bit to get this wheel to slip out and then it pops right out pretty easy. But once you get the Tannis all installed on this one, air it back up. 
to put it back in, just go straight in. And then what you're doing is you want to line up this rotor with the pads on the inside here. So you're watching for that. And then once it's in there, we want to line up the axle into the dropouts here and just slot that right back in. And then holding this little nut on this side again and the whole wheel all the way in. Now we want to tighten this back down a little bit so that when you push this cam lever back up and it tightens, it's nice and tight. Like right now it's too loose. So I'm going to go a little tighter and just make sure it's all the way pushed up into the dropout and then snug it back down. And you're all good to go. So hopefully that wasn't too much trouble putting the Tannis armors in. I know it's kind of a pain. And if you need help adjusting your brakes, I have a video right here that can help you adjust your brakes. It's also kind of tricky to adjust those, but I thank you a ton for watching and I'll see you on the next video.